Hey, badass business owners. Today, we're going to talk about three mistakes that can actually cost you your business. I don't want you to make these mistakes. I don't want you to lose your business. So please watch this video. All right. The first one that people make a mistake on all the time is they don't pay their taxes. And you might have been caught as a victim of this in your early days of your business. The number one thing that gets people in trouble is they spend all the money that they make as they're making it. The money comes in, they do the sales, they pay the bills, and then they put the rest in their pocket. And the problem is when they get to the end of the year, they have to pay taxes on the profits that they made. Any money that you paid yourself as the business owner, whether you paid yourself as an employee or as an owner, has to be taxed. So the mistake that people make is they just keep spending the money. Remember, our number one calculation is sales minus cost of goods minus expenses equals profits. Yes, you get to write off your cost of goods and your expenses for the most part, but you have to pay taxes on those profits that are left at the end of the day. Now, Remember, your profits go to three things as well. And this is why people make the mistake. One is, yes, there is an owner's draw money that you can pull out. But there's also money you need to leave in the business to be able to grow the business. And we're going to talk about this one here in a minute. But the third thing is definitely it goes to taxes. So your best bet is to make sure that you take a certain portion of it and always put it away. What I always tell people is from day one of your business, set aside money into a separate account to pay your taxes the better it's out of your sight, out of your mind. Create a separate account altogether. Mine is at a different bank, so I don't even go looking at it when I'm looking at my regular balances. I don't see it. People ask all the time, how much? It really depends how much money you're making. If you make tons of money, you're obviously going to be in the higher tax brackets. But if you get in the habit of pulling aside 20, 25%, putting it in an account, you may not need it all, but at least you have a jump start on the next year and you have a backup emergency fund, even though we don't want you using your taxes for your emergencies. But at least you've got some money that has been set aside and you're always able to pay your taxes like you need to. Now, the second thing that gets people in trouble is still tied to taxes, and that is spending the sales tax that you collect. Not all of you will collect sales tax. There's a lot of states where you do not collect sales tax on service-based businesses. I happen to live in one of those states. However, I did have a brick and mortar store where I did collect sales tax. And the problem is it goes into your register because you ring it up and obviously it's added to it. And at the end of the day, when you're counting up the money, this money is co-mingled with your regular funds. And what happens is when you are running a tight business and you have a lot of bills, it is money that is sitting there. So if you don't put these taxes set aside, most people will end up spending it. But here's the problem. It's not your freaking money. All you are is a holding station for the government. Most cases, it's going to be your state. It might be your city or your county, but you're just the holding station. You're holding on to someone else's money. Think of it as someone cans you their wallet and asks you not to spend it, but yet you keep opening it up and spending the money that's inside of it. It's not yours. You must pay this money to the state monthly. You need to file those taxes, send them off monthly. If you have a bookkeeper, they probably already do this for you. But whatever you do, you need to make sure that you set aside the money that comes in for the state and you pay them. It's their money. It's not yours. You're just the vessel in which they collect it from the customer. And it's important you do this right. It is not your emergency fund. It is not for you to dip into and to take. Now, the third thing that gets people in trouble where it costs them a business is they carry too much business debt. Now, I'm the first one to admit it. I want you to grow your business debt free. I did mine debt free. For the most part, I had one credit card at the very end because of something I was forced to buy as part of a franchise. But I'm telling you, the majority of you can do your business debt free. And I know you don't believe me, but I promise you the risk is not worth it. Because here's what happens. Your profits that you make start going to the debt versus growing the business. Because every dollar that you make in the beginning has to be prepared to pay the debt that you owe. Just like the very first thing you pay is your cost of goods, right? You have to be able to pay for the materials or ingredients that you use. Well, there are certain expenses that are must and debt is one of them. And it can be a huge number that's in there. I want to take a look at an example because I want to show you something. Let's just say you go out and you buy, whether it's a vehicle, some equipment, whatever it is that you go out and buy, and you've created a $500 debt for your business. And let's say that prior to this debt, you had a 20% profit line, which is a healthy profit line for a lot of people. Some will have more, some will have less, but 
for most people, 20% is actually not that bad. Well, here's the problem. The first $2,500 in sales every single month goes to paying this debt and nothing else. Not your cost of goods, not your expenses, not your materials, nothing. The first $2,500 in sales for a $500 debt every single month goes straight to that debt and to nothing else. Debt makes us make poor decisions. It makes us take customers and clients that we don't really want to help because we need the money that bad. And what happens is people think, oh, the only way that I can grow my business is to take on debt. And that just is not true. You may not be able to grow as fast as you want, but I promise you, your profits are what matter. Remember, we are in a profit game, not in a sales game. You can create all the sales in the world, but at the end of the day, if your expenses keep going up, then your profits go down. So it doesn't matter what you do in sales because you've got to make bottom line profit. And all debt does is cause those profits to take a beating. You're going to grow your business through those retained earnings that you're setting money aside for. You're always putting money aside. You never know if you need it. It could be a rainy day fund. It could be that the economy shuts down. It could be a flood comes through town. It could be that, hey, I know I need this equipment. It costs $2,000 and I'm going to save up the $2,000 versus going in to debt. Retained earnings, paying with cash is the best thing. It's going to help keep your business open. You've got to have that money flowing through your business. Your retained earnings are meant to grow the business, not getting in debt. And you can listen to pundits on other podcasts or on other YouTube channels and people go, oh, debt can be a good thing. Yeah, that's easy for them to say because I guarantee you they're not in tons of debt. And if they are, they're freaking out right now, especially as the stock market is doing its weird thing right now. And people talking about recession and talking about this and that, depending upon when you're listening to this, people go into panic mode when they have debt. When you are debt free, you don't panic. And if you look at the businesses that have survived some of the worst times, the worst recessions, the worst down markets and everything else, 99% of the time they are debt free free. They know how to grow their business without using any debt. You need to know the return on any investment, any money that you spend, what's it going to cost you to be able to carry that. So when you do debt, you do that calculation we did earlier to see how much money is going off the top of the line every single month just to pay the debt. I promise you, you will make different decisions. Listen, you work way too hard to give your money away and to lose your business. That's not what you're here for. All right. Our goal is to keep you in business. And the best way to keep you in business is to make sure that you don't spend money that you don't have. You need to pay your taxes. Don't let the IRS come for your business or cause you to close down because you owe thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars to the government. Don't spend money that isn't yours. Pay those sales taxes to the government. Give the state their money. It's theirs. You're holding their wallet. It's time for you to give it back and try to be debt free as much as you can. I promise you, you will not regret it. Growth might be a little bit slower, but it'll be a heck of a lot more profitable. And if you like what you see, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, that like button, let other people know they should watch these videos. I'll catch you on the next one.